In this animation, you will learn the definitions and uses of commonly calculated fertility rates used in DHS program surveys, including the crude birth rate, or CBR, the general fertility rate, or GFR, the age-specific fertility rate, or ASFR, and the total fertility rate, or TFR. First, let's begin by defining some key terms used when talking about fertility. Fecundity is the potential of a woman to bear children. A woman's reproductive potential is 15.3 children on average assuming no fertility regulation. Fertility is the production of a live birth. Parity is the number of children ever born to a woman or the number of times a woman has given birth to children. For example, women with a parity of three are women who have had three children. This is a characteristic of the woman and is often used in analyses. Birth order refers to a child's sequence among children born to the same mother. It is sometimes confusing that the terms for fecundity and fertility are opposite in English and French. In French, fertility is referred to as fécondité, while fecundity is referred to as fertilité. Fertility rates refer to the number of live births in a specific period of time, usually a calendar year. Here is a table from the DHS model dataset, which shows current fertility for a given period. It is broken down by age group and place of residence. In a country with vital registration data, fertility rates can be calculated for a specific interval of time, for example, the calendar year 2022. These rates would be calculated using data from multiple sources. The birth data come from the vital registration data, and the number of women can be estimated by projecting census data to the midpoint of a specific time interval. For example, July 1st, 2022. In countries without vital registration data, the data needed can come from the DHS survey. The current fertility table also shows the total fertility rate, or TFR, general fertility rate, or GFR, and the crude birth rate, or CBR. The crude birth rate, or CBR, is calculated by taking the total number of births in a given calendar year dividing by the total mid-year population and multiplying by 1,000. In countries without vital registration data, birth data come from the women's birth or pregnancy history and population data are calculated from the household survey. Here is a map of the crude birth rate for the most recent DHS survey in each country. Looking at the legend patterns, we can see that the CBR is higher in Africa compared to the other regions because they have more births, relative to population size compared to other regions. The CBR is a useful measure to approximate numbers of births in a population when limited information is available. However, the denominator encompasses the entire population, including men, children, and women, outside the reproductive ages, who are not exposed to the risk of pregnancy. It is thus misleading if used for comparing fertility between different populations, as variations in the populations being compared will affect the rate. The general fertility rate, or GFR, is the number of live births per 1,000 women of reproductive age in a given year. The GFR is calculated by taking the total number of births in a given calendar year, dividing by the total number of women age 15 to 44, and multiplying by 1,000. The definition of reproductive age can vary, and you will find minor variations in the definition used in different demography texts. Here is a map of the general fertility rate for the most recent DHS survey in each country. The GFR is a better measure of fertility than the CBR because the denominator is limited to a specific group at risk of giving birth, i.e. women of reproductive age rather than the overall population. It is therefore a better measure to compare fertility across populations. That is evident in this example. Here, we see the CBR and GFR for two surveys, one in Uganda and one in Zimbabwe. We also see the population pyramid for each survey. 
Why do you think Uganda and Zimbabwe have similar CBR but different GFRs? The answer is in the population pyramid. 50% of the population in Uganda is less than 15 years old, while 43% of the population in Zimbabwe is less than 15 years old. This means a smaller proportion of the population in Uganda has reached reproductive age compared to Zimbabwe, and therefore, the GFR in Uganda is higher. While the GFR accounts for women of reproductive age, it groups all ages of women of reproductive age together. The GFR is thus misleading for comparing different populations or the same population over time, because it does not account for the age differences among these women. The age-specific fertility rate, or ASFR, is the number of live births per 1,000 women out of the total woman years lived in the combination of the age interval and time interval. In this example, the time interval is the three years preceding the survey, and the age intervals are given in the age group column. An ASFR is calculated by taking the number of births to women in a specific age group, dividing by the total years that the women in the survey were in that age group during the time period of interest times 1,000. There are seven standard five-year age groups, 15 to 19 through 45 to 49. In DHS surveys, the ASFR is calculated for the period of three years before the survey. Each woman's contributions to births and exposure in the three years, or 36 months, before the survey are assigned to the numerators and denominators of the relevant ASFRs. The three-year interval is chosen to calculate these fertility rates because it is a compromise between the competing desires for statistical stability and more current estimates. In fact, a one-year interval would not provide enough births to give reliable estimates, while a five-year interval gives more births but is less current with potential data quality issues. What is the ASFR for the age group 15 to 19 in this DHS model dataset table? The ASFR is 119, which means there were 119 births per 1,000 women ages 15 to 19 per year averaged in the three years before the survey. As they are not affected by differences in age structure within the population, the ASFRs are useful for comparing fertility among different age groups, different ages over time, and across countries and populations. However, it does not provide a single measure of fertility for a population. The total fertility rate, or TFR, is the average number of children a woman would bear during her lifetime if she were to experience the current age-specific fertility rates and survive until the end of her reproductive life. It can be understood as the average number of births per woman. In this DHS model dataset table, the TFR is 4.7. It represents the average number of children born to a woman who survived to age 50 if she experienced all the age-specific fertility rates shown in the table. The TFR is calculated by taking the sum of all the ASFRs multiplied by 5, because the age-specific birth rates are in 5-year increments, and then dividing by 1,000. Here is a map of the total fertility rate for the most recent DHS survey in each country. The TFR is the best single measure to compare fertility across different populations or the same population over time. However, the TFR is a synthetic rate, not based on the fertility of any real group of women since this would involve waiting until they had completed childbearing. Thus, it does not give a measure of actual number of births any woman will have through all her reproductive years. Let's return to our example of Uganda and Zimbabwe. Why do you think Zimbabwe has a lower TFR? Except for the 10 to 14 and 15 to 19 age groups, Zimbabwe has lower age-specific fertility rates, and therefore, when all the ASFRs are totaled, the country has a lower TFR. 
To summarize, we use the fertility rates for different purposes, although there might be some overlaps. The CBR is most appropriate when you want to show how the population as a whole is increasing due to fertility. The GFR is a good measure of fertility because it does not have any associated assumptions. ASFRs are used when you want to see the age patterns of fertility. The TFR has widely replaced the GFR as the fertility measure used for program evaluation, so you may need to report it. However, it is harder to communicate and understand since it is a synthetic measure and has many built-in assumptions.